How fast can you look? The ceiling's not glass, it's concrete. You don't shatter it, you chip at it. Hey, let's go, do it! I can't imagine not having football in my life. I just can't. One, two, three, four! Oh. I'm Melissa Tomlinson. I am an assistant football coach at Geneva County High School. Here we go! I'm an assistant wide receiver coach. I also am special teams. I coach the kickers. Pushing the ball to the right. That's why it's going right. Everybody get on the ball! I would probably compete with you to tie my shoes faster than you. I mean, that's the kind of competitor that I am. <laughs> Growing up with brothers, you don't grow up weak. I can assure you that. Colby, you gotta be still! Football is that ultimate game of me against you. How can I beat you? How can I outsmart you? I've always been in love with football. In the South, it's kind of been your DNA. My husband and I were in college together. We have a daughter, and at that time, I had to quit school. You have to make those tough decisions as adults, right? So, of course, life happens. And 15 years later, I was working for an insurance company, still watching football, still just love the game. And I told my husband, I said, this football thing is for real, and I gotta do something about it. I'm going back to Mississippi State, and I'm finishing my degree. I was in almost my 40s at this time. I thought, how can I get to the football field from here? Well, at the time, being a coach was virtually unheard of. The only way to get there was via the sideline, a sports reporter. We were sitting down with Coach Croom one day, head coach 05 to 07, and I said, Coach Croom, what do you think about women coaches? He goes, I think they're great. I remember leaning in and looking at him and said, a football coach in the SEC. I know it startled him and he laughed in my face. He chuckled. And I remember thinking to myself, then that's the dream I've got. I'm going to dream big enough. I'm going to make this big enough. People are going to laugh out loud. My dream is to be a football coach in the SEC. I run every day. I read everything I can. I have a master's degree. I lift weights. I don't want to be counted out because I don't have something or I'm not ready to go or I'm not able to compete with my male counterparts. You know, some coaches would say, well, I can't hire you because I'm new and we had a horrible season last year. Can't hire you, you would be used against me in recruiting. Why would you not want somebody with a lot of passion, with a lot of knowledge, who happens to just be a little bit different? Until it's not unusual, we've got some ways to go. Everybody's in on this dream of mine. My husband and I have three beautiful children and one sweet little granddaughter. They've made a lot of sacrifices for mom to do what it is that I feel like was meant for me to do. I was very fortunate to have some high school coaches that took a shot. So there'll be a team, maybe, and there'll be a time, I hope, I pray, and until that time, you keep your head down and you teach like your pants are on fire every day. Because football's unforgiving. <laughs> it is a very unforgiving sport. You get hit in the mouth every day and you have to decide, am I gonna get up and do it again? Or am I going to lay there? That's why I love football. You have to make a choice to get up. It's not about football. It's about life. I just want to coach. I just want to learn. I want to be the best. Average is not even an option for me. Mediocrity? Psh, bye. And that's what I tell the kids. Y'all were never created to be ordinary. You're a masterpiece. Go be a masterpiece. Go kick somebody's butt, but be a masterpiece. There you go, Bubba! And the more you coach, you realize it's not about you at all. It's about seeing them realize their dream. 
the passion is real. I don't think people really understand when you're truly passionate about something, it's just who you are.